In an effort to limit screen time, I decided to go blindfolded for 24 hours. Ooh. Little to my knowledge, this would be one of the most emotionally and physically exhausting challenges yet. This is my journey. But you gotta focus. Good morning, everybody. It is officially 7.02 right now. In the morning, for the next 24 hours, I am going to live the day blindfolded. This challenge was actually suggested by my friend Nick. Shout out to you, man. So I've got my blindfold right here. I've also got another one for later, like if this one gets sweaty or something. I've got the camera on full auto mode. I've also got Siri ready to go here, just in case. But yeah, everything else we're, we're gonna have to figure out. So let's get it started. Okay, 702. Let's go. Okay. Ah, oh, great. Okay, 24 hours like this. This is... This is already a nuisance. <laughs> oh, look at that. Let's go get some coffee. Okay, that's in, that's out. The first thing that became obviously apparent to me was how much we use vision to navigate. And being blindfolded, I was relying on visual memory to try to navigate down the stairs to the kitchen. But it was interesting how many things I never memorized, such as the stairs. Oh man, where's the last step? Okay, there it is. <laughs> Um, this is probably going to be one of the most difficult parts of this challenge is filming it because it's just me So I'm going to be doing my best here and aim this in the right position So if this is pointed this way Yeah, that should be all right All right, I'm in the kitchen Fridge I need some coffee. I know the cupboard is like here. All right, we're figuring it out Oh, would you look at that boom Second nature. All right, we're good, we're good. All right, where's the camera? Dang it, where is the camera? Ugh. There you are, okay. The sense touch became absolutely critical. All right, I gotta get used to the full weight. Let's fill to the top or the sink here, hope, yeah. Look at that. You see that? <laughs> My hands just know where they want to go. Okay. It also became extremely apparent very quickly how much we rely on this one sense to do so many basic things such as filling up a mug to the top without overflowing. How much though? When do I stop? <laughs> I think that's good. Oh, it's overflowing. Ah. Oh, my lip, that burned. Okay, all right, there's the chair. <sighs> what am I supposed to do now? Oh man, don't spill this. Where's the table? I can't see my phone. I'm not gonna be able to check up on my investments. You know, what if it crashes today? H hey Siri, what's Shiba Inu's price right now? Shiba Inu USD is down zero dollars today, or 10.37% to what? I'm just kidding guys, I'm just kidding. Or am I? <laughs> just adjusting it, don't worry. Just adjusting it, it was falling off. The wife is at work, and I have no friends. So I've gotta film this myself. I hope I'm doing a good job for you guys. All right, dishes. If they're dirty and full, I just get to start it. That would be way easier. Let's see. How am I gonna tell? Yeah, it smells like food. Yes, that is right. Sense of smell actually coming in clutch, and it isn't even the first hour. I thought that was pretty interesting. Two. All right, laundry time. So I think I need a basket. Um, this is gonna be terrible. Okay, so stairs should be right here, hopefully. Hopefully right here. Are you even recording? <laughs> Just so you know, if I ever got confused if the camera was recording or not, I would completely turn the camera off with the switch, which was easy to feel. Then I would turn it back on, wait a second, and press the record button. That would give me a high certainty that it was once recording again. <sighs> okay. Oh, everything's taking like 10 more times than normal. Well, okay, stuff was washed overnight, so. Yeah, that's clean. I need to just do a transfer, dryer to basket, and then 
washer to dryer. Just doing the basic chores not only took longer, but just something about not being able to see while doing them was so frustrating. It's already getting super frustrating. I think that's all of it. Gotta get the right button. I know it's here. Ah, where are you? There. Oh! Woo! Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs in my office and uh, just like meditate, I guess. I have no freak out. Oh. oh gosh, oh gosh. Starting to feel kind of like dizzy. It started to become more and more obvious to me how much we rely on sight to not only do basic things, but entertain ourselves, especially in today's day and age with all of the screens. So I tried to do some activities blindfolded, but nothing really felt the same. So I ended up trying to sit there, meditate. I realized that if I was going to get through this challenge, I was going to need to increase my patience. That's something that society severely lacks nowadays. Myself included. What time is it? It's 10.52 a.m. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh. um, I guess it's almost been four hours, but it literally feels like it's been 10 hours, to be honest with you. Under four hours so far, uh, so it's like 20 hours to go. I'm gonna go get some more water. Okay. Ah! Oh, I spilled some coffee on my foot. Look, Mom, no hands. Boop, boop, boop. That could have been bad. <laughs> Man, I'm going off of memory right now. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Yo, I should be like Bat Boy and use like echolocation. So just so you all know, I am intermittent fasting. I'm not eating until dinner time. I think that's gonna make it a lot easier for me if I had to like make lunch or breakfast right now. I don't know what I would do. However, for dinner I am planning to do a shrimp fried rice. So that'll be interesting. <laughs> all right, where are we? Oh, oh. Ah, okay, that should be zoomed all the way out. All right, laundry. Yo, no way in heck I'm folding this. I wouldn't even know where to start. Oh. oh, yo, success. Right, I'm gonna sit down. Oh. Man, all this work. Oh, where to put my phone? Oh, yo, if I like misplay something, I'm gonna be in so much trouble. Let me just try to rethink. I think I set it on the kitchen counter when I was going for the clothes. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, so something interesting was imagination started to become more like vision and memory imagination like remembering where I put something not only became useful but just naturally became more real. Oh gosh. Alright guys, I'm going to get uh, changed here. Eh, I, I didn't even need the lights on, it made no difference to me. Oh man, I'm getting so sick of this. It's like, I feel like, I, I don't even know if I'm asleep or not. It's like weird, I don't know. How much battery life do you have? Your iPhone is at 24%. Man, why is it going down so fast? It's not that one. It's not that. It's not that either. What the heck? What the heck's going on? Jeez, come on. The dishes have to be done by now. Like literally, they've been going for four hours. Usually it only takes like two hours. So let's do some dishes. Oh. Another thing to note that was very interesting was how tired I felt throughout this entire day. It never felt like I fully woke up from my sleep. Oh man, why am I so tired? I felt as if I was in a twilight state most of the day. Oh, I'm like tired and dizzy. Ow! What the heck? Oh. That's stupid. Speaking of dumb ideas, this is about to be the dumbest idea ever. 
Oh man, guys. Oh, no way. No way. I'm not gonna. Alright, so I gotta make sure I know where the rim is. It's right here. It's right here. Oh man. <laughs> Bad idea. Stupid idea. Do not do. Oh my gosh, I'm so dizzy. Right. Right. Oh, 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 that's so stupid. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna do any more than that. I gotta be smart here, all right? Where are you at? Oh. Ugh. It went right in my mouth. The lens went literally right in my mouth. I like ate it. That was so weird. It was such a weird feeling. Fresh air feels good. Uh, that was trippy as can be jumping on the trampoline right now. Don't recommend that, that was stupid. It's crazy because I don't really feel like I ever use my sight as the primary sense when it comes to doing any flip or trick. But maybe it's how vision relates to balance or the setup, the landing, or some subconscious visual acuities I have going on during the flip that I just don't memorize or keep in my memory. It just felt so weird to try to attempt to do a backflip blindfolded. It felt like I just didn't know what was up, what was down. I feel like my hearing is uh, actually starting to get really good, to be honest with you. Like I'm hearing details, clothing moving, air moving, it's weird. Maybe it's just in my head, but I mean, that's kind of what senses are, they're in your head, right? Siri battery. Your iPhone is at 41%. Good enough. We're going to the basement. Okay. Lens, door, should be good. Don't know. All right. Something that should be absolutely obvious by now is that filming this, trying to get, you know, any cool angle or something like that took four or five times as long. And I was never too certain if the camera was pointing in the right place, even recording. But luckily, I feel like I did a pretty decent job. Where's that last step? No? Oh, that's it, okay. Um, I'm gonna just get a quick little workout in. Nothing crazy, just super set push-ups and pull-ups. You know, gotta do it. Yo, give the video a like, guys. Come on. And while you're at it, check out my bodyweight training program, Bodyweight Beast 2.0. 12 week calisthenics program, bodyweight only. Do it in your home. Get on the plan. Let's do this. I think that's good enough for today. Just very easy, honestly. That took like no time at all. We got something in. I think my wife should be on her way home soon. What time is it? It's 1.06 p.m. <sighs> Yo, I feel like I am hearing like insanely good. I don't know if it's like I'm hearing things louder, but I'm hearing like fine details. I hear a hissing noise coming from my left, but I like also hear like another hissing noise coming from straight. And like I can hear like small changes in the house, you know, hot and cold. And I hear something coming from upstairs even, like a like a humming noise. I'm very like audibly aware right now, put it that way. Alright. Kinda disoriented right now. Found a wall, a corner. I mean stairs gotta be. Alright. Yeah, that's definitely off. Siri play smooth jazz. Whoa, look at that. It was at about this hour six mark where I started to notice an enhancement in my sense of sound. It wasn't like sounds got louder, but I started to notice more details within sounds. Okay, so my wife is back home now. Uh, she wants to go to the park to run. I said I'd go with her. I wanna get outside a little bit more. Kind of feeling like really cramped up. I've literally just been doing what you guys, you guys have seen so far, plus laying around a lot. So feeling kind of uh, just 
Like it would be nice to get out. I feel like I'm getting better with feel. Sounds about full. Man, we're getting, we're getting smoother. How are you? Good, you ready to go? Yeah, can you help? Yeah. <laughs> can you drive? Oh. Thanks for, thanks for driving. No problem. Yo, this is so disorienting right now. Oh gosh. What? Just being in the car with the, the, oh, this is so disorienting. But like now that I'm in the car, I'm like trying to mentally remember where we were and now where we are. You're, you're enjoying this, aren't you? A little bit. Yeah, it's funny. What the heck? Ah, what are you doing? Where are we going? Oh my gosh, I'm so disoriented. You're crazy, crazy driver. I don't know who's worse, you or Kristen. Oh, come on. <laughs> Kristen, if you're watching this, you're worse. <laughs> Where are we going? Are you like driving me around so I get confused? Cause I'm really getting confused. Maybe. It just seems like we've already passed this up by now. Oh my gosh, where are we? Are you seasick? Yeah. Ah, oh, great. Great. Can I have your keys? Are you gonna lock the car? Yeah, of course. But I, just in case I can get back in, you know. What if you try and get into the wrong car? Well, that's why I need the keys so I can hear the beep. Thank you. Yeah, are you gonna be here? Yeah, where are you even going? I don't know, I don't know where I am right now. <laughs> We're gonna try to get to the grass. How far away am I from grass? Uh, straight ahead, you're like 50 feet, but then there's water right after that. Oh, okay. And then to your right, you're like 150 feet away, and there's like a hill with trees and stuff. Okay, all right, I think I know where. Good luck. Make sure you lock Thanks. my car, please. Of course. <laughs> this is a dumb idea. Uh, lock the car. There we go. So I feel the wind coming from that way, which probably means the lake is that way. Wait, I hear traffic that way. 100 steps that way. Ready? One, two. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, I gotta stop being so careless here. Um, we're on grass right now. It's like I gotta be careful every step because I don't know if I'm gonna fall right off into the lake. That would have been so bad. What the heck? All right, back on cement. This is nuts. Oh my gosh, what the frick? This has gotta be a parking uh, stop thing. So the way I see this is if I like literally follow the line of these, you know how these things are set up? Like if I walk on it straight, like like across the top, I'll make it to the next one and then the next one and it'll walk me around the edge of the parking lot. And if I get to the end of the edge, if that way is west, like I was told, then I should be going towards the lake. So this way should be west. Okay, so maybe I'm not gonna balance on it, I'm just gonna walk with it. Oh. Yo, I should try to film walking on one of these. Try to get that good footage. And right here, it blew my mind how hard it was to balance on this parking stop without being able to see it. I literally couldn't even walk two steps on this thing without losing my balance and falling off. All right, I'm gonna keep walking here. I'm gonna make it to the lake. All right, so I've officially run out of room here. I'm trying to be like super careful with each and every step. Oh, yeah, I think I'm on cement. Oh my gosh, I don't know how far away this lake is. I feel so lost right now, like so disoriented and lost. But I actually hear water though, hold on. Yo, I hear water, holy moly. Like the senses are just off. Yeah, it's like right there. It's right there, let's see. Is it there? Is it there? Tell me. That's where I hear water coming from. So yeah, anyways, like I'm trying to build like a three-dimensional space in my mind, like from where I started at the car, where I believed I was facing, where I believed I actually was. And I try, I'm like trying to trace that in my mind from the car to where I am now. 
So it's like I believe I am where I am, but I might not be, you know? I swear, it feels like, I feel like the lake is right there. All right, you know what, screw this. I'm gonna try to make it back to the car. Um, I think we're at the lake. It's like literally right there. I'm just, I'm not gonna walk into the lake right now. I'm gonna try to walk back to the parking lot. Watch me fall into the water right now. I think I'm on the parking lot now. I think. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, what was that? I don't know what. Maybe that was like the sidewalk. I'm not hearing water noises anymore, so that's good. Hopefully I don't walk into the street. I feel like I should be on the parking lot by now, so I don't know what's going on. I'm so disoriented. Ah! <laughs> what the heck? Now this is where it really started to get disorienting and confusing. Unlike the house where I had a good memory of where I was going, I was now outside in an unknown location. This isn't funny, this is frustrating and I'm freezing out here. And I can only build where I traveled off of my past memory of how I traveled based on feel, not on sight. So trying to use all my other senses the best I could, I was still severely disoriented and started to severely doubt where I was or where the car was. One wrong turn that I couldn't remember if I took or not made me lose north, south, east, west, right, left. I had no idea which way I was going. It was extremely frustrating and somewhat horrifying. Oh my gosh, okay. I think I'm on the parking lot. All right, we're gonna try to find the car using horn location. Oh shoot, it's that way. Got the keys right here. Hopefully I don't run into anything. It's that way. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, please. Okay. Oh, you're so close, where are you? Come on, where are you? You're right here. Where are you? Come on. What the heck? Where are you? Oh, that's you. Okay, unlock. Where's the door? Come on. Oh, yes. Ah. Oh. Ah. So I think I'm just gonna kind of sit here, chill until my wife gets back because yeah, it's like it's like 39 degrees out there, super cold. I'm extremely disoriented. Um, yeah, I just can't, I just, yeah, I just can't, man. It's just like crazy how uh, much we, we rely on this one sense. And uh, you know, I'm never ever gonna take it for granted from this day forward ever. Honestly, every single day I'm gonna be thanking the Lord that you know I have my vision and my health, like for real. All right, you're back. Yep. I was like dozing off here, cause that, uh, yeah, it's just like, you know, it's tiring. Were you out there a while? I was probably out there for like 15 minutes, but it got so cold. Oh jeez, I'm I didn't... sorry. No, 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 you're fine. It was quite the adventure. <laughs> right guys? <laughs> Headed back. See you in a second. All right guys, we are back. Yep, seat is down. I'm gonna take my shoes off. I'm gonna go relax up, maybe in my office, just kind of like a change of, a change of not scenery, a change of feelery. So my wife's taking a shower because she has to go to a work dinner and yeah, I'm going to be left all alone cooking my own meal tonight. Just thought I'd chill out in my office because I have all this new space now. It's kind of like a new place, new room. Even though I can't see it, I can feel the space. It feels so much better than before. I got it. I got it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, ah. oh chilling. What time is it? It's 5.16 p.m. Dinner time. What I'm going to do now is I am going to take a shower and then we're making dinner. When I take these off, I'm gonna have my eyes closed like this while I'm in the shower, right? So don't worry, I, I don't wanna cheat myself. I wanna be, I wanna experience a drastic change when we go back to opening the eyes. I wanna, I wanna be there, you know? All right, so let's do this. All right, where are you? All right, phone should be right here. Ready? Wait, go this way. There it is, boom. I'm gonna do my best job to make shrimp fried rice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be very challenging. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to gather all the stuff. I'm gonna gather all the stuff. 
As you can imagine, this was extremely difficult. I really should have picked an easier meal. Oh, 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 oh. So I made this last night because I was expecting to have shrimp fried rice today. It's a bowl of uh, rice in the fridge. That's how I'm gonna cut it like this on top. You can only cut downward. Oh, water's boiling, water's boiling, so shrimp will go in. I'm a trained professional, guys. I'm actually a stunt man, so. Okay, so this is the shrimp area, yeah. Did that go in? Every simple little task took at least twice as long, and not only that, but not knowing what the food was looking like that I was cooking, that I was about to eat, was very uncanny. I think I did it! <laughs> <laughs> just kidding guys, just kidding, it's ketchup, it's ketchup, frick, I shouldn't joke around, that's stupid, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare anyone. No, 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 what is that, what is that, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. jeez, 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 okay, whoa, ew, ew, ew. Oh my gosh, what the heck? It comes without warning. Right, turn it down. Okay, this is honestly so frustrating. Like, I, uh, ah. Oh gosh, what the heck, man. Unbelievable. Ah. It's gotta be done, all right? So I'm gonna turn this off for a minute. Hopefully I didn't lose any in the sink. All right, so this is gonna take all the focus in the world right here. I'm gonna literally try to do fried rice now. I thought shrimp was hard. This is gonna be like insane. So I'm gonna heat, heat up some oil on here. Then I'm gonna throw, throw in my vegetables, I think. And then the rice too, or should I do the rice first? I don't know. I'm just gonna throw it all in. Turn that on high-ish, I guess. Pop some oil in. I don't know how much. I think you want like a decent amount with this. So I hope I can get this in there. Oh man, hopefully I don't like put a paper towel in there or something stupid like that. Alright guys, um, I'm gonna grab the rice. I want this one right here. Mix that up. It's gonna get insane. Do this. Yeah, okay. Moment of truth here. Um, the rice is gonna go in and I gotta mix it quick when the rice is in it, right? Gotta mix it quick. Oh man, today. Gotta move it, gotta move it around. Alright guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the egg now. I'm gonna go for the egg. I don't know if it's too soon or not. It just, it, I don't know, it seems like it's getting hot in there. So I'm gonna scrape some stuff to the side. This might be the stupidest thing ever. Ready? One. Uh, Two. Oh man, I'm just hit. I don't even know where this is going. Out, it's hot. Three. All right, let's just scramble it. All right, I'm gonna see if that egg is done. It's a little touch. Ah, I think so. Shrimp. Uh, sesame, toasted sesame oil, and um, some like soy sauce. Oh my god, where are you? Which one are you? Let me make sure here. That is definitely soy sauce that's going in here. Hopefully, I don't know, I can't see how much is good. This is toasted sesame. Hey, wait, yeah, that's definitely it. Okay, find the pan. I don't know how fast it comes out, crap. Oh, this is so, just so annoying. But I'm gonna bowl up. You know what, I'm gonna plate up actually. Bigger, bigger surface area. There we go. All right guys, a little bit of truth here. Plate up. Oh 
Oh my gosh, I'm so like disoriented and just like, whew. Ah, it's hot. Why can't you just go on there? There you go. Man. Honestly, that was kind of upsetting how frustrating that was. So I'm just gonna come over here, I'm gonna sit down in this chair, and uh, just enjoy this meal. I'm never taking anything for granted again, guys. I just wanna let you know that. All right, positive, positive attitude, moment of truth. Fried rice, we made this blindfolded. It smells pretty good. Let's give it a whirl. That's actually not too bad. Could use a little more sauce, but uh, I don't feel like going over there and trying to find it. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this. This is really good. It's the first thing I had all day. This is where things started to feel a little dark. Spending the whole day in darkness and now it being the evening and now eating alone. It just really felt like I was in the abyss. I think that's it. I think that's the plate. Round two, baby. <laughs> But I tried to keep a positive attitude, push forward, knowing that I would soon be able to end this challenge successfully. Oh, there you are. Round two. I'm going to enjoy this. All done eating. Let's see how good of a job I can do cleaning up. All right, I got to be careful. There's knives and stuff. Oh man, you don't know how bad I just want to like look at my phone, you know, or like watch TV or honestly just stare at the wall right now, like honestly anything. I am so excited for tomorrow morning. My wife is home now, um, she's upstairs getting changed into some more comfortable clothing. Okay, so she came back um, out to eat and apparently she's got this cake, this uh, slice of a cake I think. Oh, right here. And so we're going to dig into this. Um. Yeah, so I'm gonna enjoy that on the couch with her. And other than that, what time is it, honey? 8.49. 8.49, we are almost done with the day. I'm so excited to be done with this challenge. Oh my gosh, like I don't even know what to expect, but I'm gonna enjoy this right now. Gotta enjoy the moment. And um, I'm, I'm not gonna film it. I'm gonna just sit over there and eat. Like, we're almost done. Oh man, I gotta get it on the toothbrush here. Oh, must have missed it. Man, okay, you know what? I'm gonna go like this. How do I look? Yo, so weirdest thing is I feel like I'm, my hearing's getting so sensitive. It's like I can see with my sounds. Not quite, not quite like dare, like Daredevil, but like, like the the amplitude of the sound. Like when I get closer to something, it's like it manifests in my mind, like a like a vision of that object. Maybe I'm just being too sensitive, but I swear. Okay. Anyways, going to bed. Like the ambience once again. Like I'm noticing ambience, ambient changes. But other than that, this has been like kind of just a crazy, like a strange day, man. Just being, just the experience of today has been kind of like frustrating combined with horrifying, combined with like a little bit sad because just like eating alone with, in like the dark basically. I really have a good, you know, I, I think I'm just too spoiled to be honest with you. Like I'm, I'm not going to take anything from granted from here on out. But with that being said, guys, we are almost done. When I wake up in the morning, seven o'clock. These are coming off. We'll make it 7.02 or 7.03 or whatever just to be 24 hours. Just to be a total. So, so, we, so we're not cheating the system. Good night. What time is it? It's 6.41 a.m. Oh, man. Okay. Good morning. Let's go find a shirt. I laid something down here. Oh. All right, I'm headed downstairs. I don't know if it's dark in here. I think it's dark in here right now. Um, there we go. Siri, what time is it? It's 6.45 a.m. Oh, we're so close. <laughs> All right, guys, 15 minutes. Uh, I had a hard time sleeping last night. Didn't really sleep too well, to be honest with you, which is kind of interesting because I was so tired. 
I, I have no idea, I just couldn't sleep that well. Um, my wife should have made coffee, so I'm gonna get that. Oh, that just comforts me. Oh, so good. Oh, man. Siri, what time is it? It's 6.53 a.m. 10 minutes. I've done 23 hours, 50 minutes so far. I can do 10 more minutes. And then I have a dentist appointment. I gotta be at the dentist's office at 8, 10 a.m. I've never been so excited to go to a dentist appointment before, let me tell you. I get to drive there. What time is it? It's 7.05 a.m. <sighs> Here we go, ready? Oh. oh man. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh hey. Uh. <laughs> Everything's blurry because I don't have my glasses, but uh doesn't even matter. Oh Oh, dang, it's a mess in here. <laughs> Let me check my email here because uh, it's been a while. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Wow, it's such a mess in here. <laughs> I don't even want to show. It's like kitchens. Obviously, I messed up on that stir fry. Man, I have like the weirdest appreciation for 3D space, three dimensional space right now. Like, it's so strange. Like, uh, I'm like super aware of like just the, if it makes any sense, smaller, bigger. It's like very strange. I don't know. <sighs> Dentist appointment. It's not even a nice day out. It's like raining and stuff, but. I don't even care. You guys, I can't even explain to you my appreciation for just being able to see and look around again. Like, it was honestly very emotional if I didn't convey it in this video. Just the feeling of being so thankful. Like, overwhelmed with thankfulness. I cannot believe how messy everything got. All right, I'm gonna shower and shave, and then we're gonna conclude this video with uh, what I learned and stuff. All right. And that leads me to the conclusion of this video. What did I learn from 24 hours of wearing a blindfold? Um, essentially, not being able to see. <sighs> so first of all, I've gotta say this. I didn't realize this challenge would be so emotionally tasking. There was something so frustrating about just not being able to see and like being like, if I could just see right now, I could move through this space so quickly. And there was something frustrating about, you know, having to take the time to learn spatial awareness in a new manner. But after a couple hours navigating around, it did seem like the other senses started to heighten, specifically hearing, which was interesting. It wasn't so much like everything became louder, it was more like I noticed more sounds. I had more spatial awareness regarding where the sound was coming from. But something you should know, once I took the blindfold off this morning, it almost immediately seemed like my sound awareness, just, I, it's like I forgot about it. It's like I, I feel like I don't even have that enhancement anymore. Maybe I do, maybe it's more subconscious. It just seemed like, once I took the blindfolds off, the, my vision is now my primary sense again, and like, my hearing is back to normal, normal sensitivity. So that was kind of cool, kind of interesting. To be honest, guys, I haven't looked at any footage yet, so I'm hoping it's good, you know, really good. I'm hoping it's really good, but I'm hoping it's, you know, good enough to portray this experiment, entertain you guys, and just be a good video because I was really trying my best to, like, you know, imagine where the lens was pointing. I tried to use a very wide angle lens, so even if I was like down here, up here, to the side, I would still be somewhat in frame and it could still be usable. It's kind of to the emotional part, to be honest, you know, taking away vision for 
just a couple of hours, honestly. It made me realize I take little things like vision, hearing, taste, being able to walk around, being able to touch stuff, being able to just even think, being able to use your mind to think. None of it's guaranteed. None of it's guaranteed and it's, you're so blessed to have that ability right now. So what I wanna say is I don't wanna take anything for granted anymore. You know, just going through the day, being like, whatever, I'm tasting this, I'm you know doing this, blah, I'm watching TV, like I'm just so bored right now. It's like, just think about how lucky, how blessed you actually are to be experiencing right now. If, if you're being a brat, if you're being spoiled, if, if you just need a slap in the face, if you need this, if you need this wake up to better appreciate things, all you gotta do, all you gotta do is put those blindfolds on for four hours. I'm saying four hours right now because honestly, the first hour was like, oh, ha ha. Second hour, it kinda got a little dim and dark. Third hour, is starting to really think. And by the fourth hour, I was just ready to just appreciate, appreciate everything. It can change your life, honestly. That's what I'm gonna say right now. Nick, suggesting this video, four hours, man. All right, you don't have to do 24 hours. You don't have to do a week. Try it for four hours, man. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe, turn those notifications on. I have more videos coming out. I hope you all have a great day, a great blessed day. Peace, I will see you all in the next video.